What's going on, guys? All right, so I ordered this meter, I don't know, a couple, like a week or so ago, not long ago, but I've been using it quite a bit because I started to uh, change my solar system. And I do not mean like the galaxy or any of that. My solar panels, my inverter, I uh, switched to a 48 volt inverter that has a higher string voltage and um, so I was needing to check a lot of stuff plus I added some other panels to the 24 volt system and you got to be really careful when you have panels in parallel that you don't exceed the current of the 10 gauge PV wire so generally what I try to do is stay around 25 to 30 amps for 10 gauge wire I'm not really sure what the um, NEC says we'll just look this up really quick but just for the sake of the conversation uh, 10 gauge wire so there seems to be a discrepancy or an argument as far as how many amps can pass through a particular gauge wire stranded or solid at a particular voltage or temperature but um, 10 gauge wire at 60 degrees Celsius they say uh, 30 I think that says 30 35 at 75 40 at 90 now there's a couple of charts out there that are inaccurate they show like something different anyway so Um, I would guess that, like, you know, up to 40, you know, I guess technically, but I don't think you're going to want to run that much through it. So, I have certain panels that only face the sun at certain times of the day, but if, but there is also the, uh, it, the problem where, basically, if all the panels were producing well, I'll put it once, would I be in trouble? So that's why you kind of want to try and keep on top of that, but yeah, generally 30 amps is what they basically say. I don't understand their temperature rating because as it gets hotter, things start to change. 30, 35, 40. Twelve volt, twenty four volt, one hundred twenty volt, two twenty. It's like um, ten gauge, thirty amps. Uh, okay. Using maximum amps for a limited time period. The duration of current matters. The ten gauge wire can transmit thirty amps however it can handle 40 amps for a short period yeah that's what I've kind of figured anyway um, so I've been using that meter quite a bit to, to test all that and it's just uh, it's like the best meter I've ever had like it really works well I had another one and it was just complete pain in the butt and it was uh, not real accurate sometimes and real touchy so I've been pretty happy with this thing and um, I've not even pulled the probes out I don't know why they show you three batteries it doesn't come with three batteries it doesn't take three batteries it takes two AAA's it comes in a case and 
I haven't checked these probes, but I have another meter that has similar probes. Um, and this style of probe is actually kind of nice. Um, it looks like this when you pull the caps off, instead of like these really, really common ones now that a lot of meters are coming with that are like needles. These ones. And they bend pretty easily. So I actually don't really care for these like super sharp ones. Um, so it looks like these are coming with the same ones here. Just a little bit different style. So uh, with some of these meters, the probes can cost quite a bit. So, you know, it's always a good idea to kind of look and see do they look like they're going to be good probes. Um, that's the first thing you're probably going to wear out on a meter that you use a lot. So, but like I said, I haven't used the ones that came with it yet because I'm just using it for clamp meter for amps for my solar. So, um, but what's nice is see how it shows here, like that. It lights up orange when you get to a certain amount of amps. It's like I think anything like over five amps or something like that it lights up, um, and it does have like this weird thing here. I don't know what it's supposed to do. That you, you know, put your probe there. Uh, it's got a backlight button. It's also got LED. But I just wanted to make the switch to something a little bit easier to use, and something that took double A's or triple A's. That way I could put rechargeable batteries in it and stuff like that. I, I did actually find. A deal on some nine volt batteries at Harbor Freight, but uh, normally they're not uh, affordable and definitely not for rechargeables. So um, even though they're they're available, I just try and avoid meters that use nine volt batteries. Some people claim that they're more accurate because of the voltage differential, uh, but I, I don't know. I don't I don't really care. I, I don't seem to have a problem with any of these. So. Yeah, this thing's working pretty good for me.